In this episode, we are looking at organic versus non-organic foods. In today's lesson, we will investigate organic and non-organic methods of growing food, operationally define the terms organic and non-organic food production methods, assess the pros and cons of organic and non-organic methods of growing food, evaluate the impact of non-organic methods of growing food on the environment, and draw conclusions from the results of investigations on different food production methods. So we have a source here, source 1, organic versus non-organic. Learn the difference between organic food and their traditionally grown counterparts. Decide which is best for you. The word organic refers to the way farmers grow and process agricultural products. Organic farming practices encourage soil and water conservation and reduce pollution. Farmers growing organic produce do not use conventional methods to fertilize or control weeds and insects. Non-organic Apply chemical fertilizers to promote plant growth. Spray insecticides to reduce pests and disease. Use chemical herbicides to manage weeds. Give animals antibiotics, growth hormones, and medication to prevent disease. Organic They apply natural fertilizers such as manure or compost to feed soils and plants. They use insects and birds, mating disruptions or traps to reduce pests and disease. They rotate crops, till, hand weed, and mulch to manage weeds. They give animals organic feed and allow them access to the outdoors. Use preventative methods such as rotational grazing to help minimize disease. Source 2 How to identify food that is organically grown? Any farmer or food manufacturer who labels and sells a product as organic must be certified as meeting these standards. 100% organic, made entirely from organic materials. Organic, at least 95% organic materials with the remaining ingredients that are approved by the USDA. Made with organic ingredients, at least 70% organic ingredients and can display three organic ingredients on the label. Cannot use the organic seal. Non-organic. If less than 70% organic ingredients and cannot be labeled as organic or use the USDA organic seal. Is organic food more nutritious? Probably not, but the answer is not yet clear. Researchers concluded that organically and conventionally produced foodstuff are comparable in their nutrient content. In addition, organic produce is not as widely available as other produce. That means, depending on where you live, it may be shipped from farther away than non-organic produce. And in some cases, it may sit longer on the shelf before it is sold. During the lag time between harvest and consumption, certain nutrients such as vitamin C can degrade within produce, affecting its nutritional value. Pesticides Other factors to consider Pesticides Conventional growers use pesticides to protect their crops from insects. According to the USDA, Organic produce carries significantly fewer pesticide residues than does conventional produce. However, residues on most products, both organic and non-organic, do not exceed government safety thresholds. Another thing to think of is food additives. Non-organic foods use food additives, processing aids, and fortifying agents, including preservatives. Artificial sweeteners, colorings and flavorings, and modosodium glutamate or MSG. Taste 
Some people say they can taste the difference between organic and non-organic food. Others say they find no difference. Taste is a subjective and personal consideration. Environment. Some people buy organic food for the environmental reasons. Organic farming practices are designed to benefit the environment by reducing pollution and conserving water and soil quality. Cost. Organic produce often costs more than non-organic. Higher prices are due to more expensive farming practices, tighter government regulations, and lower crop yields. Virtually everyone could improve their health by eating more vegetables and fruits, organic or not. There is not much specific evidence we can point to that shows the significant benefits of organic produce. When you are deciding whether or not to buy organic products, multiple factors beyond just health considerations may influence your decision. I recommend that you make your choices based on the factors that are important to you. Source 3. So it says here, the length of the petals of the flowers represent factors within the environment. Each circle from inside out represents 25, 50, 75, and 100 percent. So let's look at this one that says conventional. So we have a high yield um, nutritional quality that's also high. We have um, minimized pesticide residues. No, that's low. Um, reduce worker exposure to pesticides. That's that's a low one. Employment of workers, lots of workers. Um, ecosystem services, low. Um, total costs, mm. profitability, that's good. Minimize water pollution, no, no, no. Um, biodiversity, um, that's low. And maximizes energy use. All right, let's compare with organic. The yield is not as much we can see um, the nutritional quality is about the same um, in terms of maximize pesticide um, residue um, conventional we have low versus high um, let's go reduce workers um, no for the organic that's a little higher Employment of workers, about the same. Um, ecosystem services, higher. Um, total costs, mm, a little less with the organic. Um, profitability is greater for organic, I guess because there is a greater demand, right? Um, maximize water pollution. Oh, minimize water pollution. Okay, so here, um, that's something that's important for the organic biodiversity yes that's more than than the conventional way um, minimize energy use a little bit less and soil quality well organic helps with soil quality and if we look at the conventional way we can see that the soil quality is pretty poor so let's look at this it continues now and we're supposed to complete this table Use the sources above to answer the questions. Place a tick under the correct column. So we have in the columns here, um, non-organic, organic, and both organic and non-organic farming. So uses pesticides and other chemicals that may be damaging to the environment. And that would only fit on the non-organic. Okay. Provides the body with the essential nutrients so that would be both organic and non-organic this type of farming produces a greater number of crops and that would be the non-organic practices in this type of farming is concerned about the environment and that would be the organic type of farming in this episode we were looking at organic versus non-organic foods 
and we saw from the three sources that there are certain advantages and disadvantages of both organic and non-organic foods. Take your time to go over this again, answer the questions that follow, go to your textbooks and complete the exercises that were provided by your teachers. Take care. I'll see you in the next episode.